we close our door, the window, and there is a heavy breeze. But what can we do if the storm is in our home? The enemy will be in the door. The enemy will be in the door. I welcome you to today's Jesus. If this is your first time, and I want to say, don't forget to subscribe. I know you have all my fellow sisters who have been here with me from the very day one. I thank you for subscribing and continue to share with friends. Share on Facebook, share on TikTok, share on Instagram. And if you have questions, put them on the comment section and we'll be able to attend to you. Who is that enemy? The enemy. The enemy who intends to destroy that relationship you built so far. The enemy. Who wants to separate you from your man? Who wants to take away your woman? The enemy will be. Who is that? It might be your mom. Don't get me wrong. It might be your dad. It might be your siblings. It could be that friend of yours. Remember, sometimes ago we discussed about resolving issues. I think second week of our discussion. It's got about resolving issues, and we told you that you want to resolve issues. You don't see, yeah, friends are there to advise you, but they are not the utmost. It could be the enemy within you. You don't even know. You could run to him and tell him, my boy is this, my mom, woman is this. And they are seeing, already seeing the loophole. So that's why I want to urge you, limit your reports to family members and to friends. So that the enemy will not come in. The enemy I'm talking about is not far-fetched. It's within you. The Rubas will say, that is, I don't know how to translate that. Don't have to say. That is, the insect, let me use that word, literally mean that the insect that eats the leaf or the plant lives within the plant itself. It doesn't go far. Why is your relationship not working well? Try and sort things out with your partner. It is not that everything happens within you, you run to his parents. Not everything happens, you run to her family. You pick the phone and report her. Reporting your partner is also exposing yourself. You are telling people your secrets. You are telling people your weak points. The person who can keep your secret for you is your partner. Your mom cannot keep it. Your dad cannot keep it. Your siblings will not be able to do that. Your friends, oh, they will use it against you. But your partner, whom you have, you have dedicated your life to, whom you say you're going to spend the rest of your life with, yes, tomorrow both of you might not be together. But at that point in time, he or she is your confidant. I need to share with, especially when you are married, uh -huh, then you can throw all your life onto him. Yeah, it's even how to do that with caution as well. Because we are all human beings. But like I said, limit what you tell the family of your partner. The friends, your partner. Be careful of what you say to them. Be careful of revealing his secret. Be careful of revealing her weaknesses. Let it be within two of you. Sort it out. Resolve issues. Go back to our two weeks, the first two weeks. Be resolving issues. Resolve issues among yourself. And be something that is both of you cannot dissolve. Seek for professional advice. People who are not, people who are far from you, who are not in any way related to you. It is better. Because you can confide in, yes, you can confide in a friend. I'm not saying there are friends you cannot trust. Yes, you can trust them like I told you in that time. You can trust them, but we are all human beings. For the professional, and if your friends get to betray you, who are you going to sue? You can't say anything, he's your friend or nothing. But if a professional who knows his job, or a clergy, man of God, be it a foul or anybody, be it a Muslim or Christian, I'm sure they'll be able to keep your secret. They will not even use it against you. And if they do, it is between them and God. God will fire them there. But your friend, who has nothing to lose? Your mom, your dad, 
they will see it was a benefit of my all that I did what I did. It was the good of my son I did what I did. At the end of the day, relationship in your story, in your struggle to build will be destroyed within the token of an eye. So be careful, be watchful of what you say. Learn how to watch each other's back. You should be able to defend him. You're able to vouch for her. Even when she's strong out there, even when he's strong out there, defend him. But when you get back inside, when both of you are together, you're able to tell him to say to his face, baby, you are wrong there. What you did was wrong. Oh, me, what you did was uncalled for. She would have done it. She have done it this way. Or reproaching your partner in public, reproaching him before his friend, reproaching her before her friends is a way of belittling her. You are setting way, you are making ways for enemies within, and when they come in, you will destroy that relationship of yours. There are those, like I told you in the second week, there are those who are very, very envious of that relationship of yours. There are those who are ready out there, and remember I told you the passage, they, they are like an enemy who is warring like a lion and ready to come in. They are looking for a way to take you away and you are giving them that way for the enemy within to come in. Do not open your door for the enemy. Close them tightly. The Yorubas will say, you mean that it is, I don't know how to put it, that is, it 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 is, you don't spread your dirty linens in public. Keep your dirty linen inside. Everybody has theirs. So why bring yours to the public? Save yourself. Save your relationship. Save your happiness. Save your joy. So that you will enjoy that relationship. And both of you will be happy together. And at the end, peace will be. Love will abound. And even when you go out there, everybody will know what is going on. Because you've been able to control what is happening within your relationship. But by the time you go and tell A, tell B, everybody will bring their suggestion. And when you have different suggestions, you get confused and you wouldn't even know what to do. You need to compare your relationship. And then when comparison says it, remember what you said, it is gone. So my dear brothers and sisters, do not open your door when you come in. Mind what you say. Limit your report and be happy with your partner. Question him, confront him in a subtle manner. Don't forget last week we talked about the power of the tongue. Mind what you say as well. That could erupt that beast in him. That could erupt that beast in her. So that both of you will live in harmony and peace. So I'm going to leave you till next week. I'm going to see you. Until then, I'm going to leave you in the hands of God. And don't forget to subscribe, follow us on all our handles. Until then, peace be with you. Bye-bye.